Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain, and they take on Costa Rica. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the main striker today is Morata. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, it's a solid system defensively, a back five and a midfield four, but it does leave their lone striker isolated. So it's important they break forward quickly when they do regain possession. And Koke with the delivery, attending to his defensive chores. Sergio Busquets. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Carvajal. Ferran Torres. Well, closed down straight away. Could play it in. Morata. And he got to it fairly easily. Koke. Now Morata. Morata! And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Can someone get on the end of this? And a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. The first half here comes to an end.
Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. Well, they get the ball once more. Carvajal. Sergio Busquets. Nicely timed tackle. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Pau Torres. Koke now gets involved on in the attacking side of things. Well, possibilities in the centre. Can he compose himself? Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here it is again. Jordi Alba's cross really does invite somebody to go and attack it. But from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. Kaiser Fula. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Danny Olmo. Koke with it. There to win it back. Breaking at pace. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. He's in here. And it's over now. A win for Spain. It has gone according to their master plan. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.